Hey, I'm Jill Smolin, and I'm the Director of Education here at Reality Technica. This is our brand new, beautiful Reality Technica Helix rig, which is a beam splitter. So basically, its configuration is that you've got two cameras. We've got one camera. We call this configuration the over and through configuration because you've got one camera on top, and the light comes in. There's a half forward mirror comes in and goes up, and the other the other camera is um, shooting through. So you have one light that goes all the way through the mirror, right. right? So the way this works is, and it's right now you can see only one lens, so it's essentially just capturing one eye, so a two-dimensional image. But as I move the lenses apart like that, I can manipulate how much depth or how much volume you get to perceive. The other thing I can do with this is I can move my screen plane by changing convergence. So by angling the cameras toward each other, like toward each other, you can watch them bending toward and away from each other. I'm actually moving objects or the screen closer to me or farther away, which is really cool because then you can do all of your convergence, convergence and your interaxial live and in camera. So the cool thing about this rig, one of the kind of cool things, everything is robotic, so all of my lens control is handled through with motors, and all of my, right here, so this is how I control my lens, focus, iris, and zoom, and this is how I control my 3D. And I do all of this through what we call a control chain, this is our magic control chain cable, that takes us all the way into the three flex control center. So everything has to be absolutely perfect. And when I'm talking about perfect, I'm talking to within one hundredth of a percent difference between the two cameras, or one hundredth of a pixel difference between the two cameras. Right, and that's so. where the, the, the SIP comes in? Yeah. Can, so it, can we walk over and you can yeah. just give a quick explanation yeah, of that? Yeah, sure. So the stereo image processor, or walking to, or the backseat driver, as I like to refer to it, is telling me all of the specifics of how accurate my two cameras are. So right now you can see here that I am three hundredths of a pixel off vertically, which nobody can see. I'm absolutely perfect in my zoom, which means that it's both cameras are seeing this, the same image at exactly the same size, which is really important because you don't want to be looking at one eye this and one eye seeing that. That doesn't feel good. So the stereo image processor micromanages, essentially micromanages the two cameras. And I can watch this view here to change my interaxial and my convergence. So my interaxial, as I move things apart, you can see, as I move the cameras together, you can see how it turns into a 2D image. And so this is essentially we're watching 3D and 2D is what we're doing right now. And this is changing where my screen is. So basically if stuff is going to come flying out at me or if I'm going to see it like I'm looking through a window all the way through to the back of the room. And that's what the stereo image processor makes sure and that's that everything is accurate. It's a little tiny box. And the cool thing is this little tiny box can do I mean, just does a ton. It controls, or it controls if I wanted to. It will tell me, it will tell me what's wrong and what's right. Like it can be super annoying if, if it wants to be. And I can choose to listen or not. <laughs> I can choose to say, hey, just fix it, fix it. I know you're doing the right thing, just fix it. Or I can say, no, I want a little control, and I watch it, and I say, okay, I need to fix it, and I fix it at an appropriate time in the shot, right? So. I don't always have to see if my camera is moving. The other thing that's super cool is it doesn't only just work with our system, it'll work with anybody's system. Because what it'll do is it'll tell you, like I said, it'll tell you everything you want to know and more. And if I'm using a manual system like one of our other systems, our other rig systems, I can, like the Atom, I can control everything manually. It doesn't have to talk to it, but it can if you want to. It's cool.